Tonight on New Life for a Westerly Business, damaged by fire last week. We've learned that Mary D's Antiques will soon be in a new location. NBC10's Mario Hilario found out how fellow business owners came together to help one of their own. It was one week ago we saw the devastation Lois Miner was dealing with. After fire tore through the building that housed her business of 23 years, Mary D's Antiques in Westerly. Now rising from the ashes, if you will, she'll soon be opening in a new location on High Street in downtown. Fifteen minutes before we were allowed to clean out the store to see what we could save, I got this right across the street here. Everything just fell into place for Lois to move into her new location. The current tenant here, the owner of Repurpose Design, actually has two locations right across the street from each other. Now he'll be consolidating into one store. We absolutely have to stick together. We, it's a hard world. I've been in business for 40 years, and it never gets any easier. She's going to be a good tenant. She's telling me all the nice things she wants to do with the building and for the town. Miner says she's getting lots of help from other businesses who will soon be her neighbors, like Michelli's Furniture, Woodman Seas, and Homespun, a fellow antique dealer collecting donations for her. She is the heart of the downtown, really, as far as our world is concerned. The antiques, collectibles, she brings people in from all over the area, so to lose her would be like losing our own businesses. Independent retailers helping one of their own in her time of need. A little nerve-wracking, a little exciting, like a dream. That came from a nightmare. She hopes to be in her new location in May. Mario Fario, NBC10 News, Westerly. And new tonight, federal fishery managers.